Hello again, it's Linda in Belize. Today I'm going to show a video with Tom, who I met over a year ago when we were looking for property in Placencia. So we've got to know him and his sister Laura quite well through playing pickleball. And we had a fantastic dinner at their restaurant for our pickleball event last week. So let's hear from Tom on some of the challenges owning a restaurant here in Placencia, also what it takes to open a business and advice he has for people considering moving here. So Tom, can you tell us how long you've been in Belize and what you're doing here for work? Yeah, I came to Belize in 2003, so I spent 11 years going around Belize, enjoying the people, and then decided that I had to leave Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia as a contractor and move here permanently. So I came in 2014 and I've been here nine years. So can you talk about what you're doing here in Placencia for work? Yeah, when I arrived in 2014, um, I had purchased land so I could start building this resort. I wanted to break from Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia life and uh, kind of have the laid back atmosphere here. So we've been building since 2015. So can you talk about why you chose Belize as a place to settle? So in the 11 years I was coming here to visit, I was... Uh, like enamored with the Belizean people and the culture. And I decided that what I grew up with, I wanted something different and I settled on Belize. So can you talk about whether you, why you chose Placencia and did you look at any other areas of Belize as well? Uh, yeah, when I, I first came to Belize in 2003, I stayed on the island, Blackbird Key. And then I went around San Pedro, which is on Amber Grease Key, went to Hopkins, went to Punta Gorda, so I've kind of been all over Belize, and I found that Placencia was the great mix of, it feels laid back, but the rules and regulations they have in place will keep it from being overbuilt like certain areas, and it won't be like off the map for the next 30 years, so it was really the best fit for me business-wise and personally. So now can you talk about which activities you like best? Uh, yeah, mainly in uh, Belize, I love the hiking. There's trails everywhere and throughout the whole country, so I've probably only explored about 10% of all the hiking trails in Belize. Uh, I also enjoy fishing, obviously, with the barrier reef. Uh, the fishing is amazing. Um, but really, just traveling around, meeting all the different cultural groups is uh, in itself probably the best part of Belize. So can you talk about things that are different from what you expected? Um, yeah, I guess uh, from coming here and visiting, what I expected was the sense of community and working well together. And when I got here, the Belizean people are that way. They work together. Uh, they're very welcoming for everybody, whether you're Belizean or a, a tourist. Um, but I didn't realize what surprised me is the expatriate community has trouble following the lead of Belizeans and working well. So that's been the, the, the challenge. And for example, uh, we work real well with Placencia Beach Club, uh, uh, Shane and his wife. And uh, he sends people here. We send people down there. We both eat at each other's and uh, we tease each other a little bit. But, uh, you know, that's what I was looking for. So I'm hoping to uh, build on that. So what advice do you have to pe for people that are thinking of moving to Belize? Um, I guess the biggest piece of advice is patience. So it's patience when dealing with, uh, you know, government getting permits and everything. Um, it just takes longer. It's not as large a government as wherever you probably come from, whether it's Canada, U.S., Great Britain. Um, so it's really patience. Let them get what they need to get done. And then it's patience with Belizeans. Um, they don't have the stresses we do. They don't have the mortgages, the college payments, the student loans. So they're not in a rush to move every day as fast as they can to get as much done. So it's really uh, patience in every aspect of life. And when you come and you learn patience, then you, your, your uh, 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 blood pressure will drop, your cholesterol level will drop, and your uh, doctor will start noticing that you're in much better health. So just patience. So when I first met you, it was basically looking for land in the peninsula here. So I had got an email from an agent with a whole bunch of different land developments and lots were excluded. So I drove by, met you and your sister, Laura, 
and thought your property was great. And so I just want to find out how your experience is working with realtors here in Belize. Well, thank you. And uh, well, what I find is it's a little different because most of the uh, agents aren't licensed, whether they work for a local firm or some of the name brands. So I went through a process and I had signed with a lot. And, uh, you know, basically they kind of only show what they want, um, what their exclusive listing so I eventually went with non-exclusive listing, but if they don't get the full, then they're not going to show the property. So that's been most of my experience. So here we have uh, certain agents, um, regardless of where they represented, and they understand, you know, to bring people here. But the majority of the real estate agents um, don't have the experience like they do in the U.S. And um, we just found that uh, if we didn't sign with them exclusively, they are not going to show our place. So most of the um, property we have sold here is uh, just based on walk-ins. So we recently had a fantastic dinner here with our pickleball group, and I'd like you to talk about some of the challenges starting a business here. Okay, for uh, starting the restaurant, um, the challenges are the products. So there's a lot of companies that deliver stuff, but it's whether they got it in shipments. So a lot of times we're scrambling in the beginning of the week, like what did we actually get? And then we figure from there that week's menu. Um, even the sea can be challenging because when the weather turns bad, you know, the local fishermen can't go out. So even though we're a seafood restaurant on the sea, doesn't mean we always have, you know, a plethora of seafood. So now can you talk about what you have available for investors looking to purchase in Placencia? Okay, so on the beach side where the restaurant and pool are, we have uh, um, five cabanas flanking each side, so 10 cabanas. We've sold six, so we have four left at 309000 U.S. And what we do is we rent it out, you get six weeks use, and then we rent the other 46 weeks out for you. So everything's in place. That's turnkey pricing. So you just buy it and then uh, we start making money. Um, we also have condos. So we have one and two bedroom condos. The one bedroom condos start at 215, uh, 215,000 US. And then uh, they go up, the two bedrooms go up to 319,000 US. Now, other than just the investments here for the condos and the cabanas, I know you have some lots on the lagoon side. So can you talk about the potential for somebody interested in those? Okay. So on the lagoon side, we had 17 lots total, three are commercial lots that we're developing along the road. So of the 14 residential lots, we have three left. They're all 13,500 square feet, and you can build multiple buildings on it. So you can either build uh, your own custom home, live in it, there's no regulations or anything, or while you're away, our management company can take care of that for you. You can also build several buildings, so if you want your own house and then an investment house on that, or we can obtain strata titles, and therefore you can do it as an investment, and we sell parts, so a strata title is like a, uh, like a condo, so we could get your money back on investment that way as well. Um, and it's optional for us to manage it, and we don't have to um, on the lagoon side. So as you know, a lot of my clients are looking for property with financing. So can you talk about any options you have for financing? Um, yeah, on our lagoon side, so on residential lots, we offer financing. So obviously, the more you put down, the better rate will be. Um, and then on the um, beach side, we're also opening up financing. And you know, you work with your agent, everything's negotiable. But certain things we already have built, so we have more favorable than, uh, um, you know, rates than the ones we're uh, currently building. So I hope this gave you some insight into opening businesses in Belize, what types of property are available for investment. And Siwa Beach is one of the places that we mentioned that aren't shown often by realtors. However, there's many other developments similar to that, and those are lots of the locations that I've worked in because I'm a buyer's agent. So if you're looking for property in Belize and you need someone to work with that will show you all of the different options, definitely reach out to me and I hope to see you soon in Belize.